Hi everyone, welcome to yet another video on uh, getting RetroArch onto the Xbox One. Um, so yeah, basically doing this one kind of ad hoc because uh, I've been checking the Discord server and all the apps are free, which means also available in green, which means you can get links for free. Um, I had a few kind of negative comments on the other videos, people thinking you know, it wasn't genuine, it was a bit of a scam and um, felt that you had to pay. Well, just pointing out there that, sorry, the, uh, this is my father-in-law's Xbox. I have mentioned in the comments that he asked me to put RetroArch on his, his Xbox for him. I've done it on, on mine and some of our kids. Uh, so basically I had the chance to put it on him, so I thought I'd uh, thought I'd record it. And here's, here's the phone. I've got an, uh, I'm recording this on my phone. This is another old phone just with Discord on, so you can see. I recorded this, what, about two days ago? Um, so you can see here the retail apps are all green. This is kind of, I've mentioned in my other videos. So this video is just going to be basically showing you that the links are genuine and how you how you how you do it the rest of the setup and how to you know configure retroarch will be in the other videos to, to, to jump to them at the end so so yeah like i say here's here's another phone to see what i'm doing and you click on there you can see uh, that they're all available and there's links in there for the patreon versions as well um so yeah it just explains what each status means and say they're all green so once you they're all green you go to uh, retail announcements scroll up here and you'll see all the links now normally i would blur these out but i know checking today the links are down again so these links are no longer valid so obviously i I would share them hopefully <laughs> they get in trouble for it but you know, so these, these you know don't try and use these links now basically these are links that were up a couple of days ago but are now unfortunately down again um so just going to show the camera there you can see zooming in and, and focusing on the on the addresses basically to show that you know, there's a whole bunch of different apps the guys have ported across like, you know pp sspp and uh, flycast and dolphin and that kind of stuff but all i'm really doing in, in my videos is just the basic ftp so you can get apps on and off or basically you know so you get your games onto the xbox uh, and then the retroarch um emulator itself so jump across to the xbox now and um, like I said, i'm doing this all in real time so you know Hopefully you can see it. so it's all genuine. Like I say, yes, Brother Nor's Xbox just blurred out his gamer tag and his email address there. Um, so you basically yeah, follow the same guide as before, open up Edge. Uh, but the, you know, like I say, the point of this video is just to show me typing in those those same codes and that they work. And you don't have to pay. Um, there's there's the Patreon version which uh, are up more often than the other ones, and that's completely optional. Um, to help support the guys, but like I said, you can get it for free, and yeah, it's not behind some kind of um, money wall, as someone put it. There's no, you don't have to pay for it as long. You know, sometimes you're a bit patient and make sure that the links are up. But just keep checking the Discord server when it's green. Grab the links and away you go. So um, you, yeah, you know, it's all the all URLs are um, under honeyurl.com. You basically enter this in here. Um, but yeah, just to be clear as well. Obviously, I'm nothing to do with Game of Thirteen or, or him or his, his team uh, that are on Discord. Um, I don't. Yeah, there's nothing in this for me. I don't think no kickbacks or free access or anything like that. I just, it's literally. I, I wanted to do this on my own Xbox, um, and anything. Whenever I looked into it and googled it and had a look on YouTube, all I could find was, um, you know, if I wanted to do it in retail mode, was to use this Game of Thirteen method. Um, so that's why I shout really, because you know, as far as I know, this is the only method on uh, you know, how to get Retroarch and, and uh, the retro games onto an Xbox One in retail mode. Obviously there are options to, to do this in death mode. Um, and you can, you can de de uh, get a death account for your Xbox, but I think you have to then pay, you have to pay for a dev account, and then you have to put your Xbox into death mode, restart it, once you've restarted it, then you get kind of access to the box and you can put retroarch and other stuff on it. But in dev mode, you can't play any retail games. So if you want to play retail games, you'd have to then change it back to retail mode, reboot the Xbox again and play the games. So it's a bit of a pain. So doing it in retail mode is much, much easier. So as you see there, I typed in the code for the FTP app. It clicks you a link on the store. You click on the, you know, the link to get it. It downloads like any other app. Now we're just doing the same for retroarch.
oh, so yeah, here I'm just I'm reading off the off the phone, off the Discord server. What the URLs are? Well, if you if you want to double check me, double check this. Obviously, you can you know, go back in the video, freeze frame, and take a picture of the URLs and make sure I'm typing the same URL, which I obviously I am. Like I say, it's just to show that it is it does work and it's worked for me. Like I say, I've got we've actually got four Xboxes, old Xbox ones. Got one downstairs, one in our our, our bedroom, and then uh, in the kids' bedrooms as well. So I've done it all of them. It's all worked. And this is like yeah, the fifth one for my father-in-law. So yeah, you say get the app. It's installed. It's in your queue. You can go take a look. Oh, <laughs> at the time, uh, father-in-law's uh, PC is downloading a port update another game. So just pause that for now. So you can see we've got the FTP app and RetroArch in the queue. So then pretty much once you've got these, once they're installed, that's it, you're done, you know. Once install's finished and you've got the app, it doesn't really matter if the link goes down. But, you know, at some point it will go down. You know, so it's like once you've got it, you got it, and you're done. You're safe. The only time you need the link again, and I think I've said this in my previous videos, is that if for whatever reason you uninstall either the FTP or the Xbox from your, from your Xbox, you have to go and reinstall it. So you'll need, you know, up-to-date links and reinstall it. Or if for whatever reason you change Xboxes or you or you reset your Xbox, you'd have to reinstall. Obviously, you get things again. But normally, once you've got the app installed, then yeah, you're good to go. So yeah, uh, FTP just finished. Retroarch takes a bit longer. That's a bit bigger package. So I'll, uh, what I'll do here is we'll just speed up the video and then. Maybe come back when it's finished. Well, to be fair, I can pretty much end, end the video here. And like I say, they're installing now. If you now want to see the next steps on, you know, launching a RetroArch for the first time and doing the initial setup, just downloading the updates for it. Yeah, just skip to my next video, which is kind of the full end-to-end -end stuff. It shows this this section again. I, you know, you skip past that. But like I say, I've, I've recorded this bit because the, uh, the link for the apps went green. I thought, right, let's do it. Let's do it real time. Let's show the phone. Let's type them in see it working and hopefully just kind of you know, answer the, those negative comments that I had about the uh, about the method so yeah I hope this was useful I know it's yet another video but hopefully now it should be done and dusted um, like I said I've got the other 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 video on how to actually install and do the initial setup I've made another video guide as well on retroarch in general you know how to configure it how to add artwork all that kind of stuff um, and tweak it. Obviously that applies to RetroArch on the Xbox or RetroArch on your PC or Android or whatever. You know, because RetroArch is multi-platform. And yeah, you know, once you've got it installed, it doesn't really matter what platform you're on, all the customization and the configuration of RetroArch is, is pretty much identical. Um so yeah, that's it. I'll leave the video there. Um thanks for watching again. <laughs> and uh yeah. Any other questions just stick them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Right, thanks a lot. Goodbye.